Deputy President William Ruto has cautioned opposition leaders against engaging in politics that may provoke unrest in the country. In a statement seemingly aimed at court leaders who paraded victims of the 2007 post-election violence in Kibra yesterday, the Deputy President said the country is in the process of healing and that leaders must desist from politics of hate and animosity. And as KTN's Murimi Mwangi now reports, the court coalition still insists that the government has swept the victim's plight under the carpet for far too long. After giving politics a wide berth during the Saturday Afraha prayer rally in Nakuru, the Jubilee Brigade was back to character 24 hours later as Deputy President William Ruto led a host of Jubilee leaders to a church service at Jesus Winner Ministry in Nairobi where the post-ICC politics took center stage. Kama kuna mutu ambaye alikuwa anafikiri atapata faida yoyote, ama hasara yoyote kwa mambo ya ICC na HIG, tunasema iyo kurasa imefungwa na haita funguliwa mileli. Court, musikie hivi. With or without you, we are going to unite this country under the chairmanship and captain Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta. But the move by court leaders to parade victims of the 2007 post-pol chaos during their Saturday rally in Kibera has infuriated the Jubilee Brigade, which now claims that the move is unhealthy for the country's ongoing healing process. This despite the Jubilee leaders also parading IDPs of the 2007 post-pol chaos who have since been resettled. Sa watu wanachukua victims, huko wanaanza kuweka kwa mtandao, orengo wanaanza kuweka watu hapo. What the victims want, require now is to be taken care of, not to be paraded for political expediency. Hello, Kenya. He can use the statute of the International Criminal Court to open up the Waki envelopes. To Nataka to Jewani Wakina Nani. Let them come with that envelope. And we are telling them we, we are not afraid. And I am saying this as a person who believes in God. There will never be again violence of the nature of 2007 2008 in our country. On Saturday, over 15 cod affiliated leaders attended their Fraha prayer rally. <music> While cod leaders led by CIA Senator James Orengo and Machako Senator Johnston Muthama still managed to marshal the numbers in Kibera for a counter rally on Saturday, despite the absentia of the three cod principals. And even though politics took a back seat in Afraha Rally, the opposite of which happened in Kibera, where politics took center stage, most analysts argue that both functions were meant to whip up political emotions as the 2017 campaigns gained momentum. One of the major things that they'd wanted to do in uh, Nakuru was to use the event to consolidate their, uh, their, their bedrocks the voting blocks and pass the message that we are still one. Yes, there are people who wanted us jailed, but we have come out stronger and we are going back to the next elections with gusto. Now with three Kenyans staring at a possible prosecution at the Hague over alleged interference with prosecution witnesses and many victims of the 2007 post poll chaos yet to get government compensation, the ICC standoff is one that is not likely to go away from the local political scene going into the 2017 general election. Muremi Mwangi, KTN News, Nairobi.